In the land of words with flera, there's a tasty one, chingadera. Its spice is bold beyond compara, but use it wisely with great care. It dances on the tongue, debonera, but might cause a stir, so beware. Chingadera is fun, a word so rara. Just be mindful. When you share us. <laughs> Can you tell I got up very early in the morning today? This is Coffee and Headlines. Welcome back. Today is Friday, July 5th, and it's a pleasure to see you today and every other day. As always, we're going to share news, news from our city, state, and country. We're going to share headlines. We're going to take a look at your questions. And, oh, my God, Ronald, I love it because, because you are, like, on top of the game. Ronald says, I see where the new administration wants to build a new pier in Old Town. Would it be for cruise ships? Hope not. I have some information about that, and I'll share it with you momentarily. But first, as always, let us go through the news. Let me clear my throat first. Hang in there. Oh, that was good for me. Anyhow, let us take the news, and we'll get to the news. Actually, the first news item that I have has to do with that new peer, but it is uh, bigger than that. Let's begin with the whole thing. Mayor-elect Luis Munguia met with Governor-elect Pablo Lemus in Guadalajara yesterday to kickstart what we hope will be an ongoing open dialogue between both rulers. For starters, and based on comments made by Lemus on his Twitter or X account, they will begin by focusing on the following projects. The new, the previously mentioned upgrade on the Las Juntas Rotary, just north of the airport, completion of the Federation Bridge, which we've talked about for many, many years, a solution for the ongoing water crisis, and something new to me, number four, the construction of a new dock in front of the Rosita Hotel. Now, Based on what I, and that's all the information that we have about the new dock. I had never even heard this mentioned before. I don't think it's, and I don't think it's going to be a cruise ship dock at all. Um, and my hunch tells me that it may be a dock that is only for fishermen because there's a fish fisherman co-op right next to it. So that might be a kind of dock. Another kind of dock that I think might be what is being discussed here is one of the campaign promises that Lemus made was a water taxi service between Puerto Vallarta and Punta de Mita. Um, but again, I'm just speculating here. I don't know exactly what's going to happen with that project. But again, it's new news, and it'll be interesting to see what comes out of that announcement. But at least we have 
on the record four specific things that our newly elected governor is going to be collaborating with our newly elected mayor on. And moving right along, Noticias PV published a series of photographs showing progress on the improvements along our city's Malecón and also along the Rio Cuale Pedestrian Bridge. We don't have much more to add to this other than to say this is great. Hopefully they will finish it on schedule. And also, CEPAL has announced that the ongoing work on the city's water distribution grid will continue until Saturday, July 13, affecting the higher streets in El Centro, along with Cinco de Diciembre, El Cerro, El Caloso, Las Peñas, and Gastronomicos. All this is due to work being done to fix and improve the water pump number five located on the Rio Cuale. And again, this is challenging news for those of you that have uh, low water pressure, but this is important and good news that it is being addressed. And as we announced a few weeks ago, Puerto Vallarta had a float in the New York Pride Parade this past weekend. The delegation was led by the Mexican consulate in New York and also by representatives from Puerto Vallarta City Council. Now, can I get a little shady for a moment? I don't know the sexual orientation of the people that were there, and it shouldn't take a specific sexual, sexual orientation to go or not to go, but I certainly hope that whoever was in New York City from Puerto Vallarta got a chance to truly appreciate how big and how monumental the market is. And these parades can sometimes be a little outrageous because that's just the way they are. So all I can say is for those people that were there, including one local representative who is rumored to have protested against a rainbow flag here in town being being risen at a public building. I just hope it was an eye opening experience for people that were there. And that's all that I have to say about that. The National Weather Service has announced that Barrow touched land in Tulum, Quintana Roo, early this morning as a Category 2 hurricane, causing strong rain and wind throughout the Yucatan Peninsula. We'll continue to keep track of this um, storm as it heads north along the Gulf of Mexico. And meanwhile, the tropical depression forming on the Pacific Ocean has now evolved into a tropical storm called Aleta or Alita. I don't know. But as we announced yesterday, its path will take it away from the coast. And now let's turn over to the weather. But first, let's have a quick look at this. In next week's music appreciation presentation titled Mambo Madness, we take a look at mambo, a genre of Cuban music pioneered in the late 1930s and later popularized in the big band style by Perez Prado. You will discover how the music became a dance craze in Mexico and the United States until it was dethroned by cha-cha-cha. As usual, we will rely on video and audio selections to tell the story of this music which has had a major impact around the world. The meeting is on Thursday, July 11 at the Joint Boutique Hotel and Co-Work on Insurgentes Street at 5 p.m. The music will be hot and tickets are already available for purchase at the front desk, but rest assured, we will enjoy the experience in air-conditioned comfort. Hope to see you there and thank you for spreading the word. Who does the son think he is? I could do his job at half the cost and in half the time, says Snarky Weather today. It is 29 degrees out there. Humidity is high at 77%. And our weather forecast for today says we're going to enjoy mostly clear skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon, a chance of rain of only 33%, a high of 32, and a low of 25 then tomorrow, Saturday, mostly clear skies in the morning with thunderstorms in the afternoon. A chance, a chance, a chance, a chance of rain 
of uh, 69%, a high of 32, and a low of 26. And then Sunday, we will have light rain throughout the day, a chance of rain of 70%, a high of 31, and a low of 25. And because I got up early this morning and I'm on a roll, have a look at this. How about that? I actually still have more news to share, so I'm not going to go into chit-chat mode just yet. Uh, there is some distress out there. Some folks are feeling distressed over the sudden closure of pickleball courts on Medina Asensio. This is at the Puerto de Luna Hotel. But if memory serves me right, the people that ran these courts were operating without paying their rent and their lease had ended and they simply refused to leave and the hotel owner went to city hall and complained and if they have been shut down that means they must have been kicked out or maybe the situation will be improved meanwhile if you want to have some pickleball fun i want to remind you that there are some courts at uh, macro plaza um and you may want to check them out. I also have this news item. These two gentlemen are uh, Eric Fernando Godinez and Joel Cruz. They are two local cyclists that are heading to France to participate on the L'Etape, which is, as I understand it, I could be wrong on this one, it's a not quite professional group of cyclists. I mean, the Tour de France is top notch. And um, I believe L'Etape is for uh, upcoming cyclists. But the, it's nice to see that there is local representation, two local cyclists participating. And also, I didn't know that there is such a thing as a gay soccer cup in Mexico and that there are uh, teams from all over the country. And it's nice to see that the team comprised with players from Guadalajara and also from Puerto Vallarta came back with the first place. So we have gay soccer playing champions in our city to be excited about. And that ends my news for today and my leisurely stuff. Yes, that's the end of it. So let's take a quick look at your comments just to see what you guys are up to i see good mornings and good afternoons which is great to read as always and uh let's see what we have many 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 good mornings ha! luisa says my middle name is chingadera i don't think you are a chingadera my dear um, you are maybe enough for two or many chingaderas. No, I'm just kidding. You are adorable. Uh, Luisa and her husband, Luke, who live in Guadalajara, just sent me some adorable photos of their escapades through our city. I mean, their city. They spent some time in Zapopan, which I love. If you want to see photos that they sent me, uh, please write the word photos in your comments and I'll prepare them for tomorrow. Um... Oh, thank you for your comments for Dora. Dora got up really early this morning, so she was just excited to be part of Coffee and Headlines. Uh, pam pum. Yeah, maybe it can be another place for smaller boats. Again, I'm not entirely sure how the new pier is going to work. It's this brand spanking news for me, but I'll keep my eyes open for that one and gary gets cute and says maybe it's a doc not a doc maybe it's dr simi well you know me i love to see dr simi wherever he goes i actually felt really good wearing my dr simi socks the other day but then i became overwhelmed with so much color and decided to take a break hey <laughs> um and pamela 
Hello, my dear, is doing a promo for um, BOGO deals. I don't know what a BOGO deal is. Well, anyhow, Pamela is going to be participating on the Women's Art and Craft Show tomorrow at the Joint Boutique Hotel and Cowork. Um, I'm itching to find out what BOGO stands for. It's a new expression for me. So if anybody wants to fill in the blank, uh, please let me know. I know that I'm going to be there because Pamela makes this kick-ass lavender spray, spray, and I want to get some more of that. Uh, let's see. Ha! Thank you, Sherry. Great looking advertising for the spotlight. We got to push the spotlight because we're not getting enough traction yet. Um, Pamela asks, is there an elevator in the joint co-work, co-working hotel? Unfortunately, there isn't. There is the infrastructure for one, but it has never been uh, finished or it hasn't been finished just yet. Um, mm, 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 mm. You and Dora must have been awake at dawn. I actually got up this morning at like 4.30 and I was like, eyes, please close again. And it didn't work. So I just got up and got busy with all kinds of things that I could be doing or should be doing to keep you amused. Uh, let's see. The music paired with the spotlight clip. It reminded me of an 80s sitcom theme song, something like the show Perfect Strangers. Well, you know, Jess, there is a very specific reason why that short musical cue spoke to me. It reminds me a lot of music by Swing Out Sister. And I have to say that Swing Out Sister, if you know the British band, is among the music that I'm going to feature on my second presentation of the month, which is my birthday presentation. And let me show that to you. It's this one. This is going to be not my mambo, but the following one, uh, my birthday presentation. It's because my birthday is coming up. And I want to celebrate my birthday doing what I enjoy the most, which is talking about music. And this is going to be a pay what you want. So if you cannot afford it, you can still be present. And it's going to include all kinds of music that just drives me crazy in the best possible way. And uh, that's what we're going to be sharing at that, at that point. So this morning, I was looking for a musical cue for the promotion. And I found that one. And it sounded like Swing Out Sister. And I'm like, perfect. I love it. Um, let's see. Boom. 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 Even more good. Oh, buy one, get one. BOGO. I didn't know that. Who knew? Thank you so very much for all of you guys. Uh, BOGO. I see a lot of people saying BOGO. BOGO. I should be BOGO. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not for sale. Um, oh my, I can tell how many of us use BOGO. Well, I like BOGO. I like BOGO. I just never knew it before. Thank you so much for um, giving me something new to, to, to learn from today. I love it. And that brings us to the end of today's Coffee and Headlines. It is Friday. All day yesterday, I thought yesterday was Friday, and I was terrified because I still had a lot of things to do to complete this week before tomorrow. But today is Friday, so I'm going to go and take care of my errands. I hope you have a great day. Yesterday, by the way, I wanted to go check out that new Asian uh, place near Versailles, here in Versailles, and I didn't get a chance to do it. Today may be the date in which I go, and um, that's, that's, that's it. So go and have fun. Stay dry. Stay connected. Stay in touch. Stay adorable. Come back soon. I'm running out of ideas. Goodbye.